Hi guys, today we're gonna create this Venom effect in Houdini 19.5 and I know it's been a while and honestly, glad to be here. Hi again, this is Daizen. As I said, it's been a while and that's because I lost my father. I guess that's life. It's tough to lose someone you love so may his soul be rest in peace so today's video is inspired by this scene of my favorite movie spider-man and we're gonna create this venom effect using houdini 19.5 and as always let's do it okay first let's load our fx file by creating this agent node here change that to fbx and load our fx file i download this from miximo so now let's create agent clip nice and let's change that to fbx2 and load our crawling animation here and let's copy that to the name field and in place animation and let's check hip and let's see our clip here so that's crawling now we need another animation i need to crawl and following this character so luckily let's add one and change that to fix let's load our animation check that and okay before that we need to Create a name for this animation, falling for instance, and let's preview that. And that's falling. Okay. Awesome. Now we're gonna blend these two animations here by creating agent clip transition. Okay, great. Now that's here. Yeah, okay, let's create new entity. We're gonna go from crawling to falling and let's show the guide object. Nice. Let me change this bend frame and this sync one. Okay, that's good for now. Now let's create test seam transition here. We're gonna trick Houdini and we're gonna use this simple approach. We're gonna go from crawling to falling again and let's play and see what we get after the box nice let's change the trigger frame okay and let's play okay that's not bad okay maybe we need more nice and that's awesome i want that so for the rest of the animation we're gonna freeze that by creating retime node okay let's create one retime nice and we're gonna set that here and that's our animation awesome that's the simple approach so let's unpack our agent and let's okay we need our geometry so let's uncheck this and load our geometry nice and that's our animation okay now let's create our tube for the sourcing here and let me change that to polygon and have an end cap here and let me adjust the height radius and let me copy that here okay that's not bad let me play we need the tube to scale up by z-axis for that let's create transform and let me change the position and the scale here okay maybe that nice okay and our character need to have more scaling here let me create transform and let me adjust that pay attention the scaling is so important in vellum or in the simulation 
and let me have now a remesh node to have decent topology here for the tube object let me adjust that and that's not bad okay now let's create point from volume here nice and let's leave that let's create a volume fluid configure or configure volume uh, sorry fluid and let me copy this parameter here and paste that as relative object or parameter nice and let me uncheck this and that's our point here okay let's have uh, one density and maybe viscosity here and 10 for now okay and friction and that's good for now let's create a vellum solver here and that's okay let me connect this and constraint and the collision and now we're gonna enable ground plane and we're gonna add a jitter for this source here to have a randomization for better look and that's okay for now okay now let me bring this here and let's go to vellum solver and we need a traction effect let's create traction node nice and let's connect that to force let's change that to point and we need to stop let's go here and create null node and rename that to out for instance okay that's our character and let's select that here nice and let's play and see what we have okay we need more force or scale here let's bring that up and i guess that too much let's set that to 50 maybe 50 okay and let's play and as you can see our points are attracting to our character let's create merge here to see that clearly nice and that's not bad let's have maybe a color for this node let's create color node here and change that to black or gray maybe as you can see all the points are attracting to one point here and that's because we need more cluster in this hair option so let's bring this up and let's play and that's better now okay the points are dividing here okay as always if you enjoying this video please hit the like button and subscribe for more content and if you want to support me that's my patreon we have a scene file and more stuff and if you want to support the community please check my nft page here and that will be awesome okay let's proceed okay now we're gonna create our vellum constraint let's create one vellum constraint okay nice and let's change that to each frame and that to attach to geometry and that to point and we need our character let's select the out null nice and let's visualize that by check this attach to geometry and let's play not working okay that's because we need to change that to point because we have particle as you can see that's our attached to geometry let's check max distance we need to create that when the particle approaching our character and that will stick to our character as you can see nice and that's not bad here okay we need a thickness for the source let's increase this and maybe okay that's nice okay so 
and now let's adjust the ground plane to have a more space from the particle here and that's good for now okay now we're gonna create pop group for the attraction node let's create pop group okay nice and let's rename that to gp for instance and let's assign that to traction nice and let's go this tab and enable bounding and change that to sub okay we need to create a sub object let's go to sub level and create scatter node and connect that to remesh and that's our point as you can see we need one in this situation and let's create copy to point nice okay and that will be a sphere here and change that to polygon and adjust our size okay and that's our sphere if i change the seed here the sphere will change the position so i want to create a dollar t represent the time and that's awesome okay let's create null here and rename that to pop uh, group or gp maybe and let's go here and let's select that and that's nice and let's play as you can see the sphere is changing okay and that's awesome uh, remember that always enable this preserve group here that will preserve the point group and that's nice as you can see the particle is uh, enabling by this sphere here and let me show you clearly by increasing the scale here and that's awesome for now okay we achieve this okay that's our group and let's proceed okay now let's create strings look for the vellum simulation let's go here and let's create vellum constraint okay nice and let's change that to each frame and that's to glue and let's change those two points and let's increase constraint per point and let's play and see what we have here okay and as you can see we have decent strings here okay we're gonna fix the rest okay as you can see our simulation is attracting to lower part of our character so we need to tell him to have a more specific part to attract with so in here we're gonna specify our group let's create a group node here and change that to point and let's select our point for instance here and let's hit enter okay now let's select our group so that's nice let's change the cluster for 200 maybe so let's play and see what we get now okay i guess that will work and as you can see our particle is attracting to our group here and that's more convenient okay for better result let's tweak some setting let's go to vellum solver and let's have velocity dump okay let's go to advanced motion and let's increase max acceleration a change sliding method okay let's go to grain collision and let's set attraction weight to one okay as you may notice our sphere here are selecting the random particle or that maybe will be the forest particle so we need to select 
particle that's around our character so for that let's create a bound node here to have a bounding box represent our character and that's the box so let's change that to rectangle nice and we need a boolean intersect now to have intersect with our tube okay that's nice that's our tube and that's our bonding uh, box so that's not bad so we need to have uh, changing that lower pending and upper pending here and that's awesome and that's our part of the tube that's nearest our uh, character and that's the sphere that's awesome honestly so and now let's play and see what we have and as you can see the particle that's nearest our character will be selected and that will be part of our traction. Okay, so far so good. And now let's fix this craziness. As you can see, the particle is intersecting with our character and that's because I forget to connect this collision input to our character and that will fix it, I guess. Let's have a flip book and see that and let's play that's awesome as you can see so i want to give you another hint to have a different look let's go to here and attraction maybe and let's change the cal cluster and let's have a more or different look of our group and let me select this particle a little quick okay and that's by random okay that's not bad okay maybe here and let's see what we get now so let's play and that's different look so the group here is the key for the different look okay now let's create a vdb mesh for our particle now okay let's have my favorite pipeline of vdb that's begin with vdb from particle from particle okay and let's change the voxel size and vdb reshape and vdb smooth and vdb convert let's convert that to polygon here and let's adjust some setting so let's Change that this mode to medium value and let's see. Tim calculate that. Okay, not bad. And the voxel size for this, let me decrease the voxel size. Okay, to have more smoothness. So that's not bad. Let's see it. And that's the result, honestly that's awesome so and that's from another angle and i guess that's it guys i see you in the next video goodbye